right. Take my glasses off because of the glare. So I bought a present for myself. Show you what it is. It is a Danby. Hello. Focus. Thank you. It is a Danby countertop dishwasher. That uh, That is how I have it set up. Focus, please. Thank you. So, Danby, it is a countertop dishwasher. Now, if you think that you're going to put your fine china in here, well, it's probably not a good idea. Oh, it's draining right now. Look at that mess. I just burned some popcorn. I'm going to reach back here and I'm going to check the fittings just to make sure that I'm not leaking. And I'm not... I don't know if you can hear it. It's pretty quiet. It's got all different kinds of cycles. Maybe I should show you the model. What model is this? Focus. It's a DDW621 WDB. I'm not sure if that's what it is. Yes, that is what it is. It is by Danby. This is an upgraded model of the first one that I had. So there are timed washes. I mean, I'm sorry. Focus. Not timed washes. You can set a timer to do your wash while you're gone. So it's very quiet. I'm going to tell you right now, it's very quiet. It does have heated cycles. Let's, uh, you got to pause it. Let's look in there. I've got about four dishes, I got a couple glasses, I got a big pot and the lid, I got a bunch of silverware. I, for the most part, run it on the shortest cycles. According to this, that is the glass cycle. That runs for 20 minutes. It's got a, a wash and two rinses, and when, I'm assuming that when you see those, that means that they are heated water. But these are the cycles. You got a heavy cycle, runs for you know 100 minutes. Normal 110 minutes. What? So how does the heavy one run for 100 minutes, and then the normal one run for 110 minutes? Maybe it should be vice versa. I don't know. Light loads for lightly soiled loads, 75 minutes. Glass. That's what I use. 45 minutes. Speed wash. 45 minutes. 24 minutes for the rinse cycle only. Well, there's a pre-wash. All right, well, either way. So it comes with directions in English and French. See, this thing is going. This thing is going full throttle right now, and you can't even hear it. I'm standing right next to it, and you can barely hear it. This is the, uh, it's the Danby 621 uh, desktop dishwasher. I suppose it would be good for... I suppose it would be good for uh, for campers, mobile homes, things like that. I live by myself in a one-bedroom apartment, man. This is perfect for me. This is the second one that I've had. The first one was a little less digital. Uh, I'm not really sure how to say it. A lot of these buttons were manual, but it's basically the same thing. I had a cycle that was on there on the last one that was 12 minutes. And uh, that's the one that I actually used. So it's a very simple, uh, very simple hookup. What they do is they basically give you this connection right here. This is the drain and fill for the wash. This is, if I need water, I hit that button. So when I'm not using it, let me pause that. Get rid of the pressure. When I'm not using it, it just it just unplugs. That's it. It comes with this little uh, this little nipple thing that you got to put on there. It's got a couple of extra washers that it comes with, and in the washer, all right. You see how the collar is. You have to make sure the collar is all the way up. Pull on it a little bit. Maybe not as hard as I do. 
That's how a single guy rolls, if you know what I'm saying. But you pull on it a little bit, make sure it's attached, then you turn the water on. Because once you pressurize the system, if this, if this comes off, uh, it creates a mess. Uh, so for the most part, my hot water is wicked hot. So I have it on basically on hot. Hook it up, let it go. I'm going to let that run. This cycle is going to run 20 minutes, I guess. This should be fine. Inside that dishwasher right now, I actually burnt some uh, popcorn kernels, a little bit of oil, and a half a giant bar of chocolate. So there is a mess uh, that is about to come out of there. That's why that first bit of water was so dirty. So I don't know. I guess that's it. That's what I wanted to tell you. This is my second one. I'm going to pull this out. I'll just show you. This is the stuff I have in there. Uh, I have a few glasses. I have this big saucepan. It's big. I got, a, uh, I got another pan in the back. And then I got four full-size dishes and an even bigger lid plus some silverware. It all fits in there pretty good, man. I got to tell you. Am I, uh, okay. Oh. They gotta be, they gotta be in there really, really good. I, I'm not gonna say that I have it loaded properly. It actually tells you how to have it loaded. And this is what it says that you can fit in there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six plates. You know, these bowls are small as hell. I'm telling you right now, those are like, I don't know what to say. Those are not full-size bowls. That might be a full-size bowl. But these are not full-size plates. Those aren't full-size bowls. So they're kind of full of shit. And these mugs go on top of the glasses that are down there. And this is bullshit because... This fold-down flap here, I'm going to show you. This fold-down flap won't go down because of this. This little cross member prevents it from going down. And this one won't go down because I have 16-ounce glasses. And a 16-ounce glass will not fit underneath the mug holder and then have a mug on top of it. But this is it. I mean, for the most part, this is, it's the Danby. It is a countertop dishwasher. I mean, that is it right there. Here's the front of it. It's tiny. It fits on my counter. The thing is awesome. This is the second one that I've had. It's very quiet. It saves a lot of energy, saves a lot of water, and it hooks up right to your sink. So, I don't know. I guess that's it. I've reviewed all kinds of things. Food, especially. But seeing I do a lot of cooking and I make a ton of messes, uh, I don't like doing dishes at all, so I have a dishwasher now. So that is it. That is my Danby 6649er yellow... Uh, what? what model was that? It's the Danby. DDW621WDB. I love this thing, man. I love this thing. I don't use the dryer cycle because it takes a lot of energy to dry my dishes. I just leave them in there and they just dry by themselves. Okay? All right. So that's it. You got any questions or anything like that? Let me know below. And I'm not pointing. I don't know where I'm pointing. I don't know what I'm doing. My name is Jay Chase. Thanks.